Hi, this is for Kurt, Tom Jensen, SpeedTV.com. Kurt, you got a new crew chief this year. You were best in class last year behind the Hendrick guys. Can you give us an assessment where you think your season is, where you are relative to what you hope to be and expected to be with some unknowns going into the start of this year? Yeah, I, I feel like we're, we're competitive, and I think we're a step ahead of where we are uh, th at this point than where we were last year. Uh, it's um, a matter of just filtering through some of Steve Addington's new ideas and figuring out which ones are important each week. Uh, because he has what I think 180 degrees from what we had, and we didn't run that bad last year. And so I think it's going well. One thing I noticed tonight is uh, when the yellow pops out, we're still a little slow on do we have the right front air already dialed in? Are we dropping this track bar to get the car tightened up? Those types of moments um, I feel like we're a little slow on, but the more that uh, we go through the communication process, uh, I think the, the stronger that we're going to get. We just have to get our Dodges to turn a little better with the front end and not have to rely on loosening up the back of our car so much. When we do that, uh, I think we'll be more comparable to what the Hendrick guys have and what I've seen uh, with, with Ganassi's car so far this year and, and the Gibbs bunch. Question back over here, Otter Wheat. Just, just got to ask. I'm just got to ask. Okay, let's go upstairs to the press box. Go ahead. Tom Bowles, SI in the front stretch. This question is for Jamie. Um, when you fell back from second to eighth there on that pit stop, you know, with four tires, were you surprised that you kind of stalled out there in traffic? And, um, you know, after a weekend with this tire compound, you know, this track was known in the past for tires falling off over time. Would you like to see a little bit different compound where, you know, tires fall off, or is this just the result of the new pavement? This is just what we got. Yeah, I mean, when it didn't surprise me at all when I got back in traffic that uh, that it was hard to pass. I mean, we kind of saw that all night long. If you know the the and even last year here that the the guys that were out front could get away. Um, you can you can the the biggest thing when you're up front is the first two corners. You can put five seconds on the other guys. I mean, it's just amazing just coming off turn two how far ahead you can be in just one corner. Um, and I, I don't know. I mean, the the track it got pretty slick tonight. I, I felt like. Uh, my car was really loose, and, and as the run would go on, I mean, it wasn't the old Darlington, but it uh, it still got pretty slick, and, and uh, it was easy, you know, to get up into the wall. So I think in a, in a few years, you know, the track will uh, will, will slowly keep losing grip. I, I don't know that it's ever going to be the same surface that uh, that we had in the past here or at, like, Rockingham because the, it's so much smoother than what we had. But, um, you know, I don't I, I, I don't have any issues with it. it, it uh, it's still a really fun track to race on, and it's it's very unique. Uh, and I think that the I think they did a fine job with the tire. It, it it would be nice, though. I mean, I think I think all of the drivers would tell you that it would be really nice that when the caution comes out, if you had to put four tires on, it just seems like that makes you know it, it, it it's 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 frustrating to run in the front for you know the majority of the race and then the way the the, the pit strategies work out to get in the back and not be able to get to the front so it, it would be nice if the, the tire would have a little more fall off go ahead jim observe uh, for jamie uh you started the season with the daytona 500 victory um at this point of the year do you feel like you have uh kind of gotten better at consistency do you think the, the quality of the team has been there all along it just hasn't shown it or how would you rate where you are right now well, we've had really fast cars all year long. I mean, I, I, as, you're, as you were asking the question, I, I thought back to Vegas. I mean, we, had, we probably had a top five car at Vegas, and that's where I got into Juan and, and ended up crashing us both. So, um, you know, there's been a few races that, uh, um, that we probably haven't been able to capitalize on how good of a car we had. Um, but, I, you know, I, was, I think before you got in here, I was telling Jenna that um, I've been just, just really impressed with the caliber of cars that they've been able to give us um, – and you know when I when I was at Roush, they have a what I thought was a, a fairly complex simulation program, and it's it's very technical. And and honestly, I was worried coming over here. Um, and and we have something similar to that at Ganassi, but it but it's different the way that we get our setups and what we do. Um, and you know when you when you get used to doing something for the last four years, and that's what you've you've lived by. Um, I was worried about that, but I've I've just been very impressed with. Um, with with how good we can unload at each at the tracks each weekend and and um, you know I heard Kurt saying he he really wishes the front ends of their cars would turn better I you know I haven't complained about that at all this year it's been uh, it's just amazing um, the the cars that they're able to give Juan and I um, it's just you know it's really just up to to me and and to Juan to be able to put those finishes together but um, overall I mean every weekend at some point in the weekend we have a really fast car and that's really all you can ask for you just gotta get to the finish line. 
Let's go upstairs for a question, and then we'll come back down here. Go ahead, press box. Hey, Spencer, Fox Sports. Jamie, you continue to mention Roush, your buddy Matt Kenseth. Is there some sense of satisfaction as well as you're doing right now, given the fact that you were kind of shown the door at the end of last season? No, not at all. I, um, I, I mean, I, I didn't have any hard feelings at all leaving Roush. I mean, obviously, it was it was good for me to uh, to come back here. It, it's been uh, it's, it's been great. Uh, and I, you know, the I know that it's hard for you guys to understand the circumstances with the way the sponsorships worked and the way the contracts were all worked out, um, and and why I I wasn't the guy that was you know in the fourth car at Roush, um, but I understood all that and I I knew a year ahead of a time what was going to happen, um, and and honestly I mean, you know leaving Roush and getting to come back and drive for Chip and Felix and Teresa, um, you know it's been. It's just been a, a lot of fun, and it's 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 so cool to show up and and to get to contend to uh, to win races each weekend. I, I you know, it uh, no hard feelings at all there. Back downstairs, go ahead, gentlemen, right here in the blue. Randy Holman, Auto Week. Uh, Jamie, you mentioned uh, Vegas just now, and I wondered uh, how is the Montoya McMurray uh, partnership going. Uh, our partnership Montoya's not shy. I don't believe we're wondered. partners. Yeah. Um, I understand. It's uh, it's fine. You know, uh, Juan is uh, Juan's very passionate, and uh, you know it 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 took a couple of weeks, but uh, you know there's there's no hard feelings. And you know, yesterday when when we sat on the pole, I was up on top of the truck, and and um, you know Juan Juan congratulated me, and it seemed very sincere. You know, and that I, I've congratulated teammates before, and, and deep down inside, you thought. I wish that was me. You know, it, you're you're not being truthful there, but I felt like it was sincere. And you know, Juan is is uh, is not a jealous guy. He uh, he knows you know the the talent that he has and and how good he is. He just was frustrated that that we were racing each other so hard. And it's been good for us because over the last four or five weeks, especially at Talladega, working together. I mean, we we did a great job working as a team to uh, to to stay up front at a speedway race. Um, but we've also, as the races went on, we've, we've, you know, we, there's a lot more give and take going on between us. So, um, you know, there's, you know, we're still really competitive, but, uh, there's, there's no hard feelings over, uh, over Las Vegas. That's over. Any further questions for Kurt or Jamie? Okay, guys, congratulations. And, uh, we'll see you at Dover. Thank you.